Hey, it's Angry Admin here, and today I want to share with you my achievement. I become the Realize Operation 2021 specialist. So I passed the exam, and we'll be talking about the VROPS exam. So the exam is called VMware VRealize Operations 7.5 5v0 34.19. Yeah, and once I passed the exam and I got a patch and I went to check that patch and it was this batch. And I said like, oh, uh, it said we realized operation cloud management automation 2021. And as you can see, it says skill. And I was like, mm, okay, I don't think so that's correct, but, but I checked what is the earning criteria and the earning criteria was just to pass the exam. And I thought to myself, okay, I think I need to have a different badge. And if you have a look on the related badges, there is the badge called Specialist Realize Operation 2021. And the criteria to get that badge is to pass the exam, but also hold current VCP credentials, which I do because I have a VMware Certified Professional Data Center Virtualization 2021. So it's a VCP DCV 2021. So I should get that batch, which you can see behind me now. So what I did, I emailed people um, who are running the examination and learning from VMware. And I asked the question, um, why I got this batch and not that batch. And after a few days, they assigned me the correct batch. Um, however, they didn't take off the other one. <laughs> so I have a two, have a two badges, which is great. Um, but let's focus now about the exam itself. So this is not protected exam. So it seems to be easy exam, um, but it's not, okay? I don't think so you would be able to Google all the answers um, if you don't know them uh, because I think there will be not enough time to go and read through the documentation um, so so this is not an option but I will tell you now why I did the exam um, it wasn't planned to be honest with you but as you know I have a free VMware vouchers which that will be expired next year I think around March and therefore I'm running competition because I will not use them all. So I can give you for free VCP exam vouchers, uh, which is I think 250 euro uh, worth or more. I don't, I, I, I don't remember now. However, I have those vouchers and I was wondering if I can use those vouchers against this exam. And why this exam? Because I was doing the course about the VROPS and they said, oh, now you can pass this exam. It's not a technical exam, but you get a specialist badge. And I said, hey, let's have a look how it looks like. And once I went to Pearson View website to schedule exam, I saw that, yeah, so, so that exam is different. So I checked out on this exam and they said the exam will be available for 48 hours from the time I schedule. And that was strange and it's not protected. So basically I paid 106 euro and I could take the exam anytime within 48 hours, um, which was cool. Uh, but exam itself is tricky. So of course I won't tell you what the question was exactly because this is breaking of uh, the agreement, but they are quite few questions when you have give the best answer so i mean there's more than one is correct and you have to give the best answer they think it is and this is what i hate i don't like it and there was one question about resizing and i think i may know why the person who who created that question go to that road if i answer right another one was about the deployment. I won't tell you one, but there was deployment and they asked uh, 
what's the best answer to deploy. I, I, I want something, but but anyway, you can do this in a few ways, and you have to pick one which is correct. And now, I know that people saying that like, the best answer is that which is in the book, and I actually didn't read the book <laughs> uh, because I work on that environment and I deploy ops and the nodes and everything in different ways, and it just depends. And sometimes. It depends. So, the both ways, three ways, they are correct. And I don't see the one way advantage over another way. So I don't know if I answer correctly, but for me, those questions are not okay. They are not, because what matters is the end result. So end result, you have a built environment and it's working and that's it. And it doesn't matter really how you achieve that one. That's why I love the, the Red Hat exam. The Red Hat exam was brilliant. You had the tasks and they said, we don't care if you use a GUI, if you use a CLI, do whatever you do, your system and your solution has to survive reboot. That's what we care. And you had a list of the, of the, of the tasks and you make a task, you reboot your machine, you check if everything's okay, done and dusted. But in here, the best answer, that's not okay. Uh, I, I would love to have an option to discuss those questions if you pass. So in my opinion, if you pass the exam, you should be able to talk with someone from the exam people, whoever take care of the exam, about the questions, about your doubts. And yeah, because you passed already. And obviously you cannot share those questions. Uh, so you should be able to check if your thought process was okay according to them. Like, but I, I would love to know what was the best answer and if I was right or maybe they have a look on a different way. Um, let me know what you think about it in the comment section. Um, don't forget to smash a like and subscribe to my channel. Uh, I am just fresh from the VM world 2021, so you can expect more news about it. Uh, yesterday I post on my blog about virtual reality helping administrate vSphere, which is super cool feature. Uh, this is the project, it's, it's, it's not out yet, but if you have a PC which is VR ready and you have a, one of the VR, VR glasses, like Oculus uh, Quest 2 or HTC. There's a list on my blog anyway. Uh, you can try that. That's very cool. Um, you just go there and you see your hosts and you can see what make and model they are. And you see on the top, you see the VMs and you can pick up VM and have a look on the, uh, on the information, the processor, the drives and network, everything. And the next thing would be like you can take put and drop under another host to move them to migrate the VMs, which would be great. Um, yeah, so that was the question, but I'm very happy. Uh, now I have this uh, VR Realize Operations Specialist Batch. Uh, it's the third one from VMware. And next goal will be NSXT. Uh, so keep the fingers crossed. Um, and again, please subscribe to my channel. Let's chat over Twitter. Uh, the Twitter is at sysops, at sysops, uh, and the Facebook page, uh, Facebook page, uh, Angry Sysops as well, and my blog, angrysysops.com, angrysysops.com. Uh, there's loads of information, and there'll be loads of information from the VMworld. And guys, that's it. Uh, see you in the next video. Bye.